Hello YouTube, this is Frugal. Now, just a quick video here. A question that I get asked quite a lot is how do I find real flight plans? Now, short of joining a virtual airline, like I guess British Airways Virtual that I used to be a member of, or Delta Virtual, or somewhere like that, the other way of getting real flight plans, or the one that I use all the time, is this one. This is flightaware.com. It's a website used for tracking aircraft all over the world. Now, what you can do here is you can go live flight tracking, and you can click on Flight Finder, and you can put in the, the two airports you're interested in. So let's say we were planning a flight from KMCO, which is Orlando, so we'll do that one all the way out to, I don't know, KATL. So Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see what's in there. And you can see there's a bunch of flights in here. So there's an Airtran flight, for example, TRS 347, scheduled to take off in 18 hours, 22 minutes, and so on, and so on, and so on. What you can do is you can click on these flights and it will show you what information FlightAware has on that flight, including other times, you know, the dates that it's actually flown. And you can see down here, there's some very interesting stuff. So for flying from KMCO to Atlanta, that is the course there. That's the route right there. So it's the JAG4 airway, sorry, JAG4 departure to DBN to Onyun 1, which is the star into Atlanta. Kind of cool. Now, more useful, I think, or more useful for me at least, is actually to track by aircraft rather than knowing a destination. So for example, I've got to do some videos fairly soon on the 777, and I want to find a short flight for the 777. So the way we do that, we go to Live Flight Tracking, click on Browse by Aircraft Type, and you'll see a long list of aircraft codes. So find the aircraft that you're interested in flying. So a 777-200, for example, is a B-77L. We'll click on that, and it shows you flights that it knows about, flights that are currently in progress or very soon to be in progress, where they're going from and where they're going to. There's some really neat stuff you can do here. If you click on estimated, um, sorry, estimated time on route, I was gonna say arrival time, time on route, you get them sorted by length of flight in longest at the top all the way down to shortest at the bottom. There's multiple pages here and you need to be a member actually to see more than just one page of information, I think. You can click on next 20 here, but there's, there's a limit. There's a limit to how much you can actually view. But what you can also do is that little downwards arrow, if you click on that and make it go up, then it will sort the other way around. So here's an interesting thing. A lot of people think that the 777 is only for long haul flights, but there's a 56 minute flight that happens. It's happening right now, in fact, between Dubai and Hamad International. That's a, a United Arab Emirates flight, UAE 841. So you can very, very quickly find a flight, a real world flight for the aircraft you're interested in flying for the time that you have available to fly. It's pretty cool. And just as before, you can click on that flight number it will show you, well, this is a flight that was, it's actually just finished. Um, how cool is that? It actually just finished. It took them 37 minutes. <laughs> and there's the route there. It was direct, 235 miles direct. It was planned at 235 miles. They flew 235 miles and the way they went. You can go down the list here and see previous flights as well. You can see scheduled upcoming flights, previous flights, and so on and so on. This one, I guess he must have had a pretty significant tailwind. 27 minutes that one took. That was a 777-300. Craziness. But flightaware.com, very, very useful site. Incredibly useful. Let's go and look for another aircraft. Let's look for our good old friend, the Dash 8. So let's scroll down here. I always have a hard time finding Dash 8. There it is. DH8D. Click on the Dash 8. Click on estimated time en route. Let's say we wanted to find the longest flight that FlightAware knows about. Well, currently going on right now, the longest flight it knows about is two hours long between Seattle and Billings Logan International. You can click on the arrow as before, sort them the other way up. The shortest flight it knows about currently is between Athens and Mykonos. That's 23 minutes long. And again, click on the flight number and it will show you all sorts of very cool information. That looks like a fun flight, actually. That looks like a really cool flight from Athens to a small island of Mykonos. Anyway, that's flightaware.com. I hope that was useful. If you've got any other tips for finding real flight information, do put them in the comment section below. As always, my name is Frugal, and I will see you all next time.